Hi. Hello, guys. This is Alex and Julia from the Curtis Marriage Agency. So last time we spoke with you, we talked about what the gentleman should expect when he writes a letter to however many women he wants to write a letter to. And we're talking about the introductory letter. Yes. So now that you have written the letter, we like to talk to you about what the next steps are and what you can expect in the process. So, but before I get that, I would like to ask Julia, how did the process go for you when we first started talking through the other marriage agency? How were you notified when there was a letter from a gentleman? Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you for your question. Yes, as you know guys that we met each other through another marriage agency and based on our great and huge experience we decided to create our own the Curtis marriage agency where we took all the best from all our the world marriage agencies and that's why we are talking with you now guys. So back to your question. Uh, how I recognized uh, that I've got a letter from the man. Uh, so when uh, when I applied to the marriage agency and I was expected uh, to uh, receive some information after past half year and I didn't got anything. So I was thinking, oh God, what should I do? And after I got a, a email into my email uh, address. Uh, so that's why I got a first letter from uh, a man who was interested on my profile, on my personality. Perfect. So everything we do is going to be done via email. Um, again, we want to be as transparent as possible. So you write your introductory letter. It's going to be in English. You and I will work on your introductory letter as well as your introductory pictures up to four high quality photos. And we're going to work with you to make sure that your introductory letter has the best chance of success with our beautiful ladies in Kiev or Kharkiv. So now that you wrote your letter and it, it has been translated and it has been sent to the ladies, what to expect? I want to preface this with one word, patience. Sure. <laughs> Have patience. Remember, the, the ladies that you are talking to are seven hours ahead, so they're already almost half a day ahead. And most Ukrainian women work six days a week. It's strong. 10 to 12 hours a day. So with being patient, you will understand that maybe she's busy, maybe she's away uh, taking care of parents or something like that. If those circumstances happen, we will let you know what's going on with, with this young lady or, or these young ladies. But once we transmit the letter, the letter will be translated electronically to the lady's email. It will be translated into Russian or into Ukrainian whichever language the lady is more familiar with. If she is able to read English, your letter will be sent directly as it is. Yes. Now remember, there is no personal information until the first meeting. So now that you've written your letters back and forth, back and forth, and you've come to about the 45 day mark. And the reason why we pick 45 days is because it gives you two, the lady and the man, time to get to know one another before you ask for a video date. Yes. Now, it may seem like a small thing to have a video date, but for a, uh, but for a Ukrainian woman, if she doesn't have a car, she's going to have to take public transportation. And, that's, and that can take up to an hour, maybe even two hours, based on the day of the week and where she lives. I know, guys. Yulia had to travel over one hour to get to the marriage agency for our video dates. And after back again. Yeah. So it took half day. It, it took a half day. It must be look nice. Yes, you have, you have uh, make makeup, you have yeah. dress nice. So this take a huge... A huge amount of time. Yeah. So. The reason why we're saying 45 days is that you build up a good base of knowledge between you two so that when you have your video date, it's more of a gentle conversation yes. 
like you would have in a coffee shop, but this is a virtual coffee shop. And once your date, once your virtual date is done, you guys would go back to writing letters. Excuse me. So let's fast forward months now. You've been writing for months. And some may say, why does it take months for this lady in the Ukraine to agree to a visit? First off, she doesn't know you. Except, except for except for the letters that she gets from you. Yes. So there's a huge trust issue. Okay, because you're going to her home and and we'll have representatives from the Curtis Marriage Agency there to guide you, but it's a big step for the young lady. So that's why we advise waiting 45 days for the first video date and at least 90 days before the visit because that gives you three months. Now, if you're talking to multiple ladies, you may want to extend that time period out so you get three months of really in-depth conversations. Now, what do we mean by in-depth conversations? We mean talk to the lady about how your day is. Yes. Basically, you want to carry on a conversation like she is right there. So you want to say, good morning, how was your day? You know, this is what I had for breakfast. And with every letter, you can always attach pictures, okay? Up to four high definition photos with each letter, okay? So now that you've got past the letter writing stage and you've had your first video date, and maybe you want to send her some flowers. Now we have arranged with vendors in Kiev and Kharkov to bring you the best possible prices on the, what we call the option collection, where you can order flowers, candy, uh, perfume, uh, get her nails done. Everything that you order from us, if it's, if it's an option, it is accompanied by two photographs and a short video from the young lady or ladies saying thank you for the gift. Yes. Now for an American, a fruit basket may not seem like a big deal, but in the Ukraine, remember, they make 100 to 200, maybe $300 a month total. And half of that go, goes to the rent. So it's when you send something nice like a fruit basket yes. or, or, or you pamper her by getting her nails done or maybe her hair done at just a hair salon. Those are things that she may have never experienced and you're the first person that has done that for. Because remember guys, the men in the Ukraine have so many beautiful women to choose from that, that unfortunately the women in the Ukraine for the men are almost like throwaway items. I know there's gonna be a next pretty one because there's so many pretty ladies, so I can just, mm -hmm. you know, not so pay her easy. any attention. Yes. So now that you have wrote letters, had the video date, maybe you sent some flowers or maybe a fruit basket or just got her nails done or whatever you wanna do. If it's not listed on the options page and you wanna do it, shoot us a quick email and we will be more than happy to talk to our personnel on the ground and get you the best possible price. Okay, so you're ready for that magical day when you ask your young lady, <laughs> Yulia, I want to come see you. Yes. <laughs> so that is a huge step. Okay. And the first step is to ask her when a good time is, because remember, they are tied to the jobs more than we are here in America or Canada or South America. They don't get sick days. They, they don't get vacation days. They basically work at this job. And if they don't like it, somebody else will come in and fill the job for them because they're not paying that well so they can hire somebody else. So give her the opportunity to make arrangements with her work or with her family if she's staying at home or just whatever. So that way she can tell you, yes, I can see you on the 5th of August for two weeks if you like. And then just you guys can go back and forth through video days or through letters and make those arrangements. Mm -hmm. Now, you hop on the plane uh, to beautiful Ukraine. From North America, you don't need a visa. Okay, Americans do not need a visa for 90 day stay in the Ukraine. So you're gonna be there for a week, two weeks, 10 days, however long, How you, long you don't long, need a, a visa. Now you can explore our, our webpage and see what our introductory packages are okay this is kind of where we set ourselves apart from the competition okay we go one step above we offer an executive package which 
has more perks in it and on the next video we will go through that and I will explain those things to you and then we have the standard package which basically you fly there, you show up, you get met by somebody from the Curtis Marriage Agency taken to one of our luxury apartments in Kiev or Kharkov and your appointments will be set up for you by the Curtis Marriage Agency. So if you have five women to see, we will set up five dates. There'll be an hour, hour and a half in the first couple days, maybe even on the first day. So that way you can down select from five possible women down to one lady that you want to spend the rest of the time with. Mm -hmm. Now, some gentlemen go there and they see five ladies and then they go back again and they see the same five ladies and then they, and then they pick. Now, we, we hope that you trust us enough that you understand that when we tell you that the, that the visit is such a huge portion of this. Without the visit, you cannot get a K-1 visa because you have to show proof that you visited along with receipts from the hotel, a letter from the Curtis Marriage Agency saying you were there. So the visit is paramount. Pretty much, yes. Okay, and once the visit is done, and if you and your young lady say, I want to come live with you, that's when you start your petition. Now, on to the visit. I will briefly touch this and we will talk about it more in the next video so this one isn't that long. So you get to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. one, of our, one of our representatives will take you to our luxury apartment, set you up with all of your appointments. Now I will end this with one special feature we have at the Curtis Marriage Agency which I think is a really great feature because I didn't have that choice. Yeah guys. <laughs> it's called the coffee shop introduction. You pick one lady that you want to meet. We set up the meeting in a upscale coffee shop and guys, if you've ever been to Paris, Prague, <laughs> Bratislava, anywhere where you know where a coffee shop is really a coffee shop, not a Starbucks, that's what we're talking about. A high scale coffee shop. Like a restaurant, guys. Like a <laughs> restaurant. So if you have the standard package, the taxi fare for the lady is going to be on your cost. If you pick the executive introductory package, we will pick up the taxi fare for the lady to and from. Now remember, it can take her up to an hour to get there with a taxi just based on the city. So what is neat about the coffee shop introduction is you go there, you get introduced to the lady by the representative from the Curtis Marriage Agency. Once you are satisfied, you can tell our representative, thank you very much, me and my date, we are good to go and they will leave. If for some reason you don't like that lady and you don't want to tell her that you don't want to see her again, that's why the representative from, from the Curtis Marriage Agency is there. If the lady shows up and you're like, this is not the lady that I talked to, she, something is wrong, talk to the representative, okay? Now, the ladies get interviewed by Yulia extensively. Yes. So, we verify what the ladies look like. Okay, so the lady that you see on the profile pictures is the lady that you will see in Kharkov. Now, if, her, if anything changes with the lady, we will let you know and we will update her profile accordingly. So, but back to the coffee shop. So, so you go there, you meet the representative from the Curtis Marriage Agency, the young lady walks in, you two get introduced, the, the representative hands you a coupon for two free cups of coffee and they leave. So your first cup of coffee in the Ukraine is on the Curtis Marriage Agency, whether you pick the standard package or the executive package. Now that is huge because not only is she going to be more confident because you're meeting somewhere in a public place, mm -hmm. but it also shows her that you want to get to know her culture and her city instead of saying, I'll meet you at McDonald's or Burger King or a Pizza Hut. So this way you show interest in the culture of, of the Ukraine. And then you also get to know what she likes. Does she like coffee? She wrote to me that she liked coffee. I got there and she didn't like coffee, right? And then you're like, oh, I thought you wrote that you like coffee. And maybe that'll be a segue into your dream marriage. 
that one cup of coffee turned into a cup of English breakfast tea, and then suddenly you have something else to talk about. So that's what we wanted to talk to you today about, isn't it, honey? Yes, it is true. And uh, thank you, honey. I think your information is extreme helpful for guys. So now they know how to act, yes? Yes. And guys, uh, there will be further episodes in the tidbits for guys. It's uh, lessons that I've learned uh, through my time getting to know Yulia through the marriage agency and just some do's and don'ts. Okay, so if you have any suggestions for either Yulia or just myself, email us, shoot us uh, uh, a message via um, Instagram, Facebook, or however you want to send it. We will be happy to respond to you. This is Alex. And Yulia. And see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.